Hello everyone, this is Everlasting and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching Blue Lock Season 1 Episode 6 now. I'm really looking forward to this and so let's not make this intro longer than necessary. Let's just start now. Episode 6. I'm sorry. An apology? From who? Kambi. Uh, that's going to be tricky. Four goals. And since they're brothers, the chemistry is there. Split them up. Well, I will listen to him. Oh, why? Yeah. That's right. You can't waste any more time. Every single moment is valuable, okay? What's going on? Coach? Are you sick? He's sick. Oh god. I mean, Iyaman sounds like a good leader for me. He's so objective and he's not nervous. He's just st stating the truth. So I really like him. I don't like the blush. I feel like. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so Kinagami. So then, what? <laughs> okay, his blush is gone. No. That genius made of glass. They do know him. That's why he overreacted. Past glory. So he really was something that to be... Oh god, your expression. Former teammate. Former teammates. No, 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 no. No, 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 you're, you're gonna get disqualified if you punch him or something. Oh! Ah, 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 you deserve that. VAR? Is it really a foul? Nice one. Yes! They're riling you up. Chigiri Yoma. The <laughs> gooder. Uh, but you're clearly affected by it. Oh, you're saying it for the team? Ah, uh, uh, uh. I don't have any pass. But you don't know him even though he was famous. And all of it. Oh, 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 nice, nice, nice. Is it triggery? Um, mm. are you not being influenced by your passionate uh, comrades, teammates, groupmates? Second half. <sighs> we need another goal. Oh, did he calm down? This is bad if that happens. Oh. Don't don't be over aggressive for now. He's so he's being hot headed. The older brother. 
<gasps> behind you, behind you, behind you. That's why you shouldn't. Midfield. Oh god, that's going to be terrifying. Please, please. Ah. Oh. And he's hesitating because he's afraid. Lam yeah, man, yeah, man. Oh, do we always say lemon? <laughs> Wait, we're still two goals ahead. Two goals ahead, right? Two goals ahead. Okay, we can still do it. Oh. Play defensively if you have to. Play defensively if you have to. What? Wait, they know their tactics? Yeah. Oh my god, I think Kuan might have leaked their tactics. Oh god, someone must have. I think it's Kuan. Kuan leaked their plan. Yeah. And his that yeah it doesn't make sense but that's the only way. Wait, a hat trick. The goals isn't the two people. The people, the people who have the most goals can still be saved, right? Hmm. Yeah, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. What a scumbag! Oh, Yamon, oh, you can't help it. You're a striker, not exactly a goalkeeper. Yeah, the one with the most goals can still be saved, if I remember correctly. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. You better not smile. If you smile... <gasps> Bingo. Is that why he was taking too long from the bathroom yesterday? <gasps> That's a foul, right? Can they just foul out these people? Yes. That's why he was so late. But why? Yes. Rocking a tight rope. So you're just gonna save yourself. What a selfish person. The only team. So that's like a certain def defeat already. 8 0. There's no way. You haven't even tried. You haven't even tried yet. Alone. The top scorer, the one with the most goals. Yes, I remember that. That's why it was so fishy that he has all those scores. And since Kunigami and the rest only have one goal. Yeah. Yes. Uh... <laughs> I don't want to see this guy ever again. How many minutes left? Chiguri, we need you at your 100%. 
this betrayal hurts. The streets will reveal I never expected it to be Kuon. Like, the moment that, I mean, I find, I found it weird that the anime is letting Kuon get the consecutive goals. And I never expected the plot to be revealed like this. Like, I never expected this kind of development. And you guys can tell, right? The moment I just turned a bit more silent. If you guys don't know, if I'm so pissed, I either go uh, so talkative that I never stop speaking while reacting. Or I go super silent because I just cannot let out. Or rather, I cannot... Mm, I don't have the... <laughs> How should I just the focus that I need to actually say out the words that I want to say? So I just turn silent and try myself to endure <laughs> until I let out some of my frustrations off screen. But yeah, who would have expected this, right? I never did, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys never did because of how involved this traitor is. Like, Kuon is like our de facto leader, our coach, and all everyone trusted him, and he used the trust. To betray them like that's such a dash move like and the team that did it team w i don't know is it team w i think team w is that team's name wait let's see the opening is playing right now yeah it's team w are they satisfied with that kind of win uh, is it because they're just so desperate for a win that they allowed this to happen like if i was there i mean i know it's a life in that situation but it would be so embarrassing especially since this is just not a player all game someone's watching an adult is watching and if this is being televised every move that they've done are being televised and if their parents know this what will kuon's parents think about this what will the other parents think about this like uh <laughs> um i was so happy at the first part because eamon's getting some kind of uh spotlight and i really like eamon um among the non-main cast members i think he's the one i like the most followed by igaguri for now and if i ever think of someone who can betray this group i always think of the monk guy i don't know it just feels like he would be the one betraying them because of what he did in the first episode but now i never expected it to be kuon though that's why the level of betrayal the level of emotion that i felt while finding out is while slowly figuring out that he was the one who did this is really high because he's been saying let's do this we can do this as a team we can do this this is the plan that i've made you just we guys just have to you guys just have to follow it and we can do everything we can just make it with this plan and mm, i mean i found it so weird that he took so long that the team actually decided to just let him be and start actually talking because that's not like uh, this team right they always wait and because he took too long uh they had to because they're gonna lack time if they're not just gonna keep on waiting for him so they did so i was a bit uh lost about it like uh why is that guy taking so long and everyone else are already here why is he still not here uh, like i had all those thoughts and then when the smile came in when the smile that isagi saw came in i was like now this cannot be happening this is a this is such an important game and we haven't yet faced the team that has not been defeated yet so why is this happening now we need a win in this one to secure of the whole team actually surviving but now i don't know if they can because this is a 12 versus 10 situation and then we have jigiri here who still i mean i understand the bizzo because he's afraid but now that we are down to 10 members versus 12 um i hope that he manages to get over it and actually provide some help because now back then i just had this presumption that he was some kind of prodigal player with how she uh, he acts why do i keep on saying that she pronouns with him but yeah um with how he acted i felt like he and his analytical skills i thought that he was really on the higher caliber side of the players that we've met right now and after hearing the big bro uh rather after the small bro actually interpreted the big bro's um words i realized yeah they really they really showed here that shigiri before his injury was a really 
really famous player that has so much going on for him but because of the injury every single one of his teammates or at least this teammate that he has right now is looking down on him and thinks of him as a has as a has been player which sounds so devastating like if i was like someone in Chigiri's place i would be so disappointed i can understand his side but right now we really need him to step up because after knowing that he can do much more than this if he just lets go i just like uh we need we really need that we really need that and kuon i hope that he gets disqualified him and the whole team that green team i hope they get disqualified because this is unethical and that ego guy why are you letting this happen like the moment and the fact that raichi who was about to punch go on who deserve it he deserved that <laughs> i can't believe i'm siding with him but yeah he deserved that punch and he's given the yellow card well go on who's technically breaking the rules by playing from the other side i think that's probably a rule right like you can't you can't you can't make this kind of place probably in official games please tell me if it's a thing because i think it's a foul i think it's an a rule it should be an unwritten rule at the very least if it's not a written rule that you cannot do this type of things in an official game so i hope they get the repercussions and <sighs> i mean if kuan gets disqualified tonight or rather in this game after this match if that ever happens then how will the team proceed they only have 10 members left if that happens so they cannot exactly disqualify him yet well at the very least at the end of this uh round at the end of this matches and all if they ever go to a next phase or something they disqualify him already please especially this green uniform how can they accept a win like this like i'm so disappointed <laughs> the higher are the expectations i mean i know this is bad but the higher the expectations and feelings i have for a character the harder it is for me to accept their wrong decisions so i hope you guys understand because i really like kuon okay i adored his character the fact that he's trying his best to make everyone uh unite and it's such a good thing to see and now we see this happening it's just it's just sad okay but yeah um all in all, this is such an intense episode, emotionally speaking, <laughs> and I really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this. I feel like I was just on a run on the second half of this episode, so <laughs> I hope you guys forgive me for that. I mean, you can understand why I'm mad, okay? It's justifiable in my opinion, but yeah, I'm sorry if you guys are irritated by it, but yeah, thank you guys for watching once again. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.